All right, question of the day, Blavember, um, Gavin Jam Light. Uh, and the question is? What advice would you, as you are now, give your 20-year-old self? We kind of handled it. Yeah, we kind of did. With that college thing, right? Yeah, but not necessarily with college, but just period. Yeah, I'm saying, I, I think, again, it would be to just to stay true to yourself, further what you really want to do. Okay, I like that. That, that, that this is what... You know, what's going to make the difference for you along the line is you being dedicated and true to who you are. And if you stay that course, the money will find you. And I think that's that would be the, the biggest thing to, to kind of tell myself. Because a lot of times you, you get sidetracked by money. Yeah. And so um, that would be the main thing. And then also, sometimes less is more. Yeah. You know, because yeah. a lot of times, I know for me, you know, trying to get gear, trying to get yeah. this, trying to get that. It, that's not going to make the difference for right. you. Right, that's true. That really is about having that singular focus, understanding, you know, and believing in yourself. Mm-hmm. Is at the end, that's going to make all that. the difference. So. That's a good one. My advice would be to not care so much what other people think. And for me, again, I am reactionary, but that still controls me. Again, yeah. that's another way to control somebody is that reverse psychology so if you say up oh, I'm gonna say down which is still controlling so right. it's not to, it, it would be go back to the center yourself think about what you want and and then react after you but don't care about whether they like you whether they don't like right. you. it really doesn't matter it's about where you're going and what your vision for your life is I think about that when you talk about Prince or mm-hmm. we talk about Michael Jackson mm-hmm. right so Prince and Michael Jackson were both influenced by James Brown. Mm-hmm. But the way that it came out in both is different. Yeah. It's, it's like, it's, it's a completely different yeah. way that that James Brown influence came out. So James Brown and Michael Jackson, I think, was a little bit probably more subdued mm-hmm. than it was in Prince, especially if you watch him dance. Because, mm-hmm. you know, like Prince replicated a lot of James Brown movies. Oh, yeah. And then even later, replicated a lot of his music. Yeah. Whereas I didn't necessarily see that as much in Michael Jackson, mm-hmm. but it was still there. Mm-hmm. And you can, you know, you, you can see, see that. Foundation. Yeah, yeah, you can definitely see definitely. it's all foundational. Mm-hmm. So, so I think about that as far as things being popular and, you know, um, and, and how it how you react to it Mm -hmm. will be kind of different from the way other people react to Mm -hmm. it. So it's sort of like just simply because of the way that when it hits you, Mm -hmm. you know, you're going to allow yourself to inject what you are into it. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing that always flips it. Mm -hmm. You know, whereas a lot of times people don't do that. Mm -hmm. You know, people will try to become that. Yeah. Instead of kind of taking a piece of that mm-hmm. and letting that kind of inform what they do. Mm-hmm. It becomes who they are. Mm-hmm. And that's the part that is different. different. Yeah. Yeah.